In the previous video, I gave an overview of how to find the surface area of prisms and cylinders. In this video, I'm going to give you a specific example to follow uh, for finding the surface area of a pentagonal prism. Now, the same method, though, would work for hexagonal, uh, octagonal, it doesn't matter what the base is, trapezoidal prisms. Basically, you're going to find the area of the two bases and add it to the area of all the lateral faces. I said in the previous video that I would always suggest drawing a net for the figures. Doing so is going to give me a much easier picture to work with than the pentagons drawn in their three-dimensional view. So, the top of this is a pentagon, and then connected to the pentagon is a rectangle, so I'll think of that as maybe uh, the top and this front face. And then there would be five rectangles. And then I need a pentagon for the bottom of this. Pictures don't have to be perfect here. They just uh, should be a little bit easier to work with than the three-dimensional image that was there. Okay, so let's label this now with the information I know. It says that we've got a base edge of 6. Well, the base edge is the edges of the base, or all the edges of the pentagon. So 6, 6, 6, all the way across here. Okay? Now, I really only need one on the pentagon. And I'll leave that one over there for the rectangles. Now my height. So the height goes here. Now don't confuse that with any other heights that we're going to have when we divide the pentagon up into uh, triangles based on how we find the area of a pentagon. Uh, but it is the same all the way across. It's a constant height. So to find the area of this, I need to find the area of two pentagons, which are congruent. We really only have to do it once, so this picture doesn't even matter down there, except to remind me to double my answer from here. And then one, two, three, four, five rectangles, which are all congruent, because they all have heights of eight and base edges of six going all the way across. All right, so to do the pentagon, we've talked about how to do this. It's to divide the figure into congruent triangles, isosceles triangles that we can find the area of. pieces would be three. Uh, from previous uh, videos, we've done pentagons before, and I know that the each angle of a pentagon is 108 degrees, and so therefore each of these would be 54 degrees. I forget how to do that. Just take a look at the video on finding angle measures related to regular polygons. That's the apothem. And now we need to find that apothem, find the area of any triangle. I need to do one half, the base times the height. I know my base is six. And the height is the apothem right there. That's what we're going to solve for. Right, I'll use some trig. Tangent of 54 degrees is equal to the opposite side A over the adjacent side, which is three. It's half of the base edge there. Again, an isosceles triangle, when you draw it in uh, an altitude, it's also uh, the median, so it divides that in half. So A is equal to 3 times tangent of 54 degrees. So the area of one triangle is equal to 1 half times 6 times 3 times the tangent of 54 degrees. And I'll go to the calculator and get an approximate for that. Make sure you're in degree mode. Each triangle in the pentagon it is approximately 12.39 units squared. I didn't put units on there, so we'll just stick with units squared. And then this pentagon has five, so times five. So the area of one pentagon 
or the area of the base is equal to 61 point, approximately equal to 61.92 units squared. And now we just need to double that and then add it to the lateral area. So each triangle is 6 times 8, or 48 units squared. And there's 5 of those, so we can do 48 times 5. So our total lateral area is sorry, 5 times 48, or 240 units squared. Our base area 61.92 units squared, approximately, and there's some rounding involved there. So our total surface area is going to be 2 times the area of the base, plus the lateral area, and that's 2 times approximately 61.92, sorry, that should be 61.9. Should have been 9.4. Plus 240 for approximately 363.8 units squared. So just be careful in terms of your rounding based on what your teacher asked you to do. I was rounding to the nearest hundred uh, for my work. I actually didn't do my rounding until the very end. I was storing the values in the calculator up until at least this point, the 61.94. Uh, and then two areas of the bases plus the lateral area or total surface area of the pentagonal prism. So just in summary, finding the area of a pentagonal prism, draw a net or any prism, draw a net for the figure, find the area of all the different shapes and add them together.